All right, so we have an entire wheelbarrow full of ground charcoal. If you saw the video from a few days ago, this was all just wood and branches and vines. And it's the cheapest way to add amazing fertility to your garden for the long haul. But there's a few considerations. We have to charge it with nutrients. Once you do that, it will keep nutrition in your garden for a long time. The Amazon rainforest is notorious for leaching out organic matter and nutrients with the pounding rains, with intense heat and sun, but there have been areas that have, been in, that have maintained their nutrition for thousands of years because the ancient cultures mixed in charcoal with the, the, with the soil. So it's maintained its fertility. We can do the same with our gardens. Let me show you what we do. So this part is pretty straightforward. I'm just crushing it and grinding it into small crystalline powdery uh, pieces. It helps it to assimilate into the soil and to soak up the fertilizer and water, spread it more evenly amongst the soil. Once we have it all ground, a few different ways you can charge it. I'll mix it with some dry organic fertilizer. This is bone meal, feather meal, composted poultry manure. This has a lot of different uh, micro and macro nutrients. So I'll mix this in at about a 50-50 concentration with the charcoal. Provide a little bit of water and that'll help soak the water and the nutrients into the charcoal so it's ready to mix into your soil. Another way you can go about it is fill the charcoal with a bucket and put a liquid um, fertilizer in there. I love Neptune's Harvest. It's a great organic brand, a little pricey, but it has so many good nutrients. It's not just the NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium count, but it's all, it has calcium, it has all sorts of good fatty acids that are great for plants. I love to use this, mix it right in with some water and uh, charcoal. It kind of makes a slurry, and then you can spread that into your garden beds. Another way is just to mix the charcoal right into your compost pile and let it sit for, I, I like to use, uh, do that for a couple months, or you can put it right into your garden beds, preferably with the dry fertilizer, uh, a few weeks before you plant. It's important to do that. If you mixed straight charcoal into your garden beds and immediately planted, what happens is the charcoal sucks up the nutrition in the soil before it will give any to the plants, so the plants can actually starve. And this works especially well we're here in New England, so we have acidic soil, but anywhere you have acidic soil, this does have some potassium mixed in, or some, some wood ash mixed in, which acts like lime to uh, buffer the pH and to make it a little more alkaline. So if you have naturally alkaline soil, I would maybe not use as much of it, or just be careful, uh, you don't want to alter your pH too much but some great attributes. Charcoal's wonderful, not just for the soil. I mentioned earlier the water filtration. You can heat your home with it with large chunks. Um, you can smoke meats and other, other food with it. Um, arts and crafts, obviously. P people sell charcoal pens, so all sorts of cool things you can do with it, but keep your gardens fertile for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years for very cheap.